Hi, I'm Luca Pizzaroni. Hi, I'm Katrina Pizzaroni. And this is our, our dogs, Lenny, a golden retriever. And Tristan, miniature dachshund, and the boss of the family. Yeah. Our dogs are a very important part of our lives and uh, they make a world of difference to us. I cannot imagine my life as an opera singer without a dog. There is nothing better for me than um, starting the day with a walk and end the day with a walk. For us, I mean, we spend 11 months a year on the road, so unless we travel with our dogs, we would never see them. And for us, I think the important thing is that they um, are an important factor to make every place we go feel like home because the dogs are always with us. So whether we're in Chicago or New York or Brussels or <laughs> Paris, doesn't matter because our families together and we, you know, it's a little bit like traveling circus. People always wonder how we do it. <laughs> and I always say, I don't understand how you do it because I couldn't imagine living, leaving my dog behind for such a huge amount of time. You know, it's certainly added organization, let's put it this way, you know. But travel. here is the master of organization. So he's the minister of travel traveling. in his family. Yeah, traveling with a dog is not as complicated as people imagine. It just requires a little bit more organization, you know, but and the benefits of having them with us are much greater than any any stress that I have to go through to take them with me. So I'm very happy I have to deal with that. People have been asking us for a very long time when they're going to have their stage debut. And so this summer in Salzburg was actually Tristan's big moment because Luca took him to the rehearsal and the director actually liked the idea of including the dog into the show. So he had a cameo appearance in Act 1 when the, as the dog of the Count, when the Count gets dressed and ready for his day going, going hunting. And Tristan loved it because there were all these fans waiting for him at the stage door. <laughs> so they formed these semi-circles around him and he was in his element because obviously, you know, performing runs in the family, so he um, didn't really need any young artist program or boot camp, he just started right at the top. Yeah. This one is much more of a performer than this one, this one is just have to be around. This one I, is ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> and I tell you, I don't think Lenny would be as focused and Tristan mm -hmm. on a stage. I think Lenny would start greeting everybody, maybe even jumping into the pit to say hi to every musician. Uh, while uh, Tristan is much more focused, and, you know, Lenny loves everybody and he has to say hi to everybody. So I don't think in an environment like a, an opera house it would be okay if he doesn't pay attention. So I think you know, I mean, when Tristan walked out on the stage at the Salzburg Festival, we didn't know how he would react to these, you know, three thousand people in the auditorium, and he didn't even pay attention to them because he also has a slight arrogance. While this Lenny would be like, "Hi, hi." Hi, you haven't looked at me yet. I'm here. You know, when we <laughs> arrive at the dressing room at Lyric, Tristy goes into the dressing room right away and goes on his de Devo chair. Lenny says hello to all the dressers and all the makeup people there backstage, sure. every single one before he goes into his room. Yeah, he just loves everybody. He loves yeah, everybody. Craves attention. Yes. Come on. Huh? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Mine.